What up, podcast people? Studio Steve here. Yo, a lot of you been asking about them podcast do's and don'ts. Best ways of tips of practices, mistakes to avoid. So I thought I'd stop by today and, well, give you some tips. You got them do's and don'ts. You got them don'ts. Hey, what's happening, Podskinators? And ridiculous intro aside, we've been chatting with many of you lately about tips for getting started and especially mistakes to avoid. So as we've been approaching our four-month anniversary and bringing new team members on and starting to work with clients, Veronica and I have been reminiscing on how crazy, fun, and even hilarious the last year has been. So we thought it a prudent time to take a breather from the technical episodes And do a quick episode about some things to be sure to do and some other things to avoid. Podcasting is most certainly an art form. There are many podcast coaches, blogs, seminars, online courses, sound schools that are helping podcasters to improve their shows. And while many provide formulas, step-by-step guides, what have you, when it comes down to it, there really isn't any secret code for success. Oftentimes, the most successful shows, much like in other mediums of expression, are the ones that not only ignore the formulas and rules altogether, but that seem to create their own. My favorite quality about podcasting is that the only limits are imagination. So my first do is be creative, be weird, be different, and be you. No matter how many others are doing a show within your same genre or directed at your same target audience, no one is you. A don't that goes along with this point is don't get caught up on your competitors. Don't get discouraged by their massive followings or insanely good production levels. In the developing stages of your show, it is definitely a good idea to research your competitors or friends in the same niche, but you've got to find a balance. Time management is also important, and spending endless hours dissecting others' work when you could be spending that time developing your own work might not be advisable. Okay, now while being original, unique, fearless, or even outrageous is a do of mine, I think this needs to be mixed with another big do. Do market research. Do a ton of it. Visualize who will be listening to your show. Paint a clear picture in your head of your ideal listener and find out as much as you can about them. Where do they hang out online? What kind of podcast do they like? What problem do they struggle with? What solution do you have for them? What kind of music do they like? Where do they listen to their podcasts at? Do they even listen to podcasts? Catering and molding your show to your ideal listener doesn't have to be a damper on your creativity. This brings me to my favorite one. It's not a do or a don't. It's a who. Who are you creating your podcast for? Is it for other people or is it for you? Really take some time to think about this. And while we're on the W's, let's do what. What is motivating you to make your podcast? What is the end result you'd like to see from it? And of course, we can't pass over why. Know your why. These questions are something, looking back on my first podcast, I realized that I never even thought about. Taking the time, not only for market research, but also to take a personal inventory, is in my opinion, a must do before formatting, writing, recording, and editing your shows. Okay, pod people, now let's finish up with a few more. Here's two don'ts. Don't talk badly about yourself. Don't excuse yourself on your show for being unprepared or for not sounding great. Don't use music or sound bites that you don't own the copyright to. And here's some do's. Do take the time to learn about audio production. Do spend time mixing, adjusting levels. Do take time to edit. Do give your podcast a good, descriptive name and a catchy, well-thought-out description. Do plan a launch strategy. Consider recording a trailer or a teaser for your show that you release well in advance. Build some hype around your show and have more than one episode ready for your launch date. And let's do a few more. 
do let us know how your progress is going and share your show with us. Do come and join us over on our Facebook group, Podcasting for Bosses. Do let us know what you're struggling with or any suggestions for future episodes. And do remember that we have a YouTube channel and a blog with graphical, fun, animated, informative material to help you with your podcast. We also have a free PDF downloadable podcast jumpstart guide, the link of which you'll find in the description of this episode. Stay creative, people. Keep chasing those dreams. And happy casting. Yeah.